Hi there, this is Becca from Refined Relics. March is Blood Clot Awareness Month. On a personal note, blood clots are very important to me because I am a blood clot survivor. In December of 2016, I had my lovely daughter Cordelia. And then immediately realized that I had a massive blood clot and micro clots in my lungs. I really wanted to impress upon people how common they are. In the United States, every six minutes, someone dies of a blood clot, and blood clots are rated as the number one preventable cause of death in hospitals. Blood clots can impact anyone. I've really noticed this since I started posting about it on my social media accounts, that people are coming to me with their stories, whether it's their personal stories of how they went through it, or they knew someone, their neighbor, who was healthy one day, this four-year-old guy, and then the next day he's dead, or their daughter, who was 21 and she had a pulmonary embolism and she just passed away. Who's at risk? Everyone. Anyone can have a specific link to something that can make you likely to have a blood clot. For just to name a few people who have surgeries, have injuries that just lay them up in bed for a little while, hormonal birth control, pregnancy increases the likelihood of a blood clot four times just sitting on a plane or in a car for long periods of time. And then there's a whole host of blood clotting conditions and for me, an anatomical condition that just doesn't do anything other than make me more likely to have a blood clot. I just had May Thurner syndrome, which they had no idea that I had, neither did I. And I wouldn't find that out until they actually went in and took out the entire clot. And the tech looks at me in the face and he goes, don't worry, usually these things kill you in 10 days. So you're probably not gonna die from it, which was meant to be reassuring, but I have a two week old baby and I'm going, I should be dead. Really anyone can be affected by this. And that's incredibly important for you to know that it may happen to you or to someone you love so you should know the symptoms, you should know the likelihood of it happening. One big thing I have read recently that just sticks in my mind is that 25% of people who have a pulmonary embolism, which is when blood clots will break off and they travel to your lungs, their first and only symptom will be sudden death. Death. They will not know any other thing other than they are just dead. And that's terrifying. So to know about blood clots, to be able to track them before they become pulmonary embolism is incredibly important. Yeah.